Hello friends, I am Navin from WP Health Guide. Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install and configure Blossom Themes email newsletter. I will guide you step by step how to create your first subscription form using this plugin, how to install your newsletter form, display it on your website, and enable newsletter pop-up. I will also show you how to integrate the email platform like MailChimp to collect your subscriber details within a couple of minutes. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any updates whenever I upload a new video. With that being said, let's get started. Talking about Blossom Themes email newsletter, it is a free WordPress plugin developed by Blossom Themes that allow you to add email subscription form on your website. The plugins support MailChimp, MailerLite, ConvertKit. Get response, active campaign, or Weaver. You can create as many newsletter forms you want and display them using a shortcode. Now let's dive into the actual process of configuring the plugin. Head over to your dashboard and go to plugins and click on add new to install the plugin. In the search bar, type Blossom Themes email newsletter and press the enter key the plugin that we are going to use is blossom themes email newsletter now click on install now wait for a couple of seconds and once the plugin is installed click on activate once the plugin is activated you will see a new menu blossom themes email newsletter from here you can create the newsletter form to add your first subscription form go to add new and this is the dashboard from where you can create the newsletter here you can add the title of your newsletter just for a demonstration purpose I will write a random title then you have an option to select the field you can either go with name and email or you can just display the email form I'll go with both and you can also change the placeholder text if you want to then you can also change the submit button label by default it is subscribe then you have the options to enable the gdpr checkbox where you can link your privacy policy page terms and condition and so on i'll get back to you in a moment on how to configure the gdpr message then there is a form note field here you can write the message that you want to display below the newsletter title here i'll just paste a random text sign up to get weekly emails with inspiration in your inbox now on the right hand side you will see some appearance settings then there is an option to change the background color or you can also use the background image then if you go with background color you can select the background color from here you can also change the font color for this demonstration purpose i'll use a background image and here you'll get an option to select an image just click on here upload the image that you want to use as your background and then select it for this tutorial i'll use this image and here you can see the options to enable the background overlay i'll just keep it as false and just click on publish and on the right hand side you can see that there is a short code this is the short code that we will use to display the newsletter on your website now simply copy this short code and paste it wherever you want to display this newsletter in this theme blossom feminine there is a predefined spot on the home page to display the newsletter if you are using blossom themes the process is same so all you have to do is go to appearance customize then go to general settings and here you will see newsletter settings and you can enable this toggle and paste the short code that you had copied now click on publish scroll down and here you will see the newsletter as you can see here the text are not readable so let's return to our dashboard and do some refinement 
so here I am on the dashboard and here I get an option to select the font color so I'll go with white color and there's also options to enable the background overlay when I enable this option there will be a black overlay above the image so once I click on update and if I just toggle this one it will refresh the customizer and as you can see here my text is more readable and we are missing the GDPR option so let me enable that as well so here I can enable the GDPR option click on update and if I just refresh this browser and you can see we do have the GDPR message as well currently this privacy policy page is not clickable because it is just a text I'll show you how to add a link for the privacy policy page so just return to your dashboard and here you'll find the settings to configure the newsletter click on settings and on the platform you get an option to choose from six different platforms first one is MailChimp, MailerLite, ConvertKit, GetResponse, ActiveCampaign and Aweaver now I'll go with MailChimp and to integrate the MailChimp all you have to do is add the API key simply click on this link and you will be taken to the MailChimp where you can generate the API key since I am already logged in it has taken me to the API page if you are not logged in you will be asked for the credential simply enter the credential and from here you can generate your API key now simply click on create key and it will generate an API key now simply copy this API key go to your dashboard now paste this API key click on grab lists and here it shows the list if you have more than one list then it will show the entire list here the next option is for confirmation by default the subscriber is automatically confirmed once they enter the details if you want to avoid spam then you can check mark this option then once your subscriber enter their details they will be asked for the confirmation I will keep this on check for a moment the next option is for defining the global background color for your newsletter so if you have more than one newsletter you can define the global background color from here then you can also define the font color for all your newsletter at once then the next is for configuring the successful subscription message you can either pop up a text or you can either redirect them to a page so by default pop-up text is enabled and you can also change the success message the next is for configuring GDPR message the default text is by checking this you agree to our privacy policy page but it is missing the privacy policy page link now if you want to link any of your pages whether it is privacy policy page or terms and condition you can add the markup I'll show you how to do that so simply go here and type this markup as shown here replace this hash with your privacy policy or terms and condition page so here I have added a terms and condition page now once you are done just click on save changes and let me check my website so let me visit my website scroll down to the bottom and as you can see here it links to my privacy policy page now let's check whether our subscription form is working or not simply enter the details and check mark the GDPR now click on subscribe and here you can see we have successfully subscribed now let's check another scenario when we have only enabled the email field so let's go to our dashboard go to all newsletter click on edit and just select this email field click on update and refresh this page let's check whether 
our subscription works or not. So as you can see, when I enable email field, it works successfully. Sometimes you'll get an error message called error in subscription. Such error occurs when you have different field where you collect the data and the merge tag in your email subscription form is different. Let me show you what it means. So as you can see here, I have enabled email field and to ensure that my merge tag is correctly configured, head over to your MailChimp account, go to audience and then go to settings and then here you can see audience field and merge tags just click here as you can see here the only required field is email and we have only enabled the email field on our newsletter however if i enable first name and if i try to subscribe from here i'll get a warning so make sure that the field that you are using here is required in your merge tag as well in this way you can easily configure your email subscription now i'll show you how to add newsletter pop-up on your wordpress site as you can see here there is a menu for pop-up just click here and you can enable the newsletter on pop-up enable this toggle and here you can select the newsletter you want to use in the pop-up so I have created only one newsletter so I can select here and then I can specify where I want to display the pop-up so I want to display on home on blog on pages on post and if you have custom post types then it will also list here and you can select those as well then you can specify the pop-up image so just select a random image here and then you can also specify the pop-up delay in seconds the default value is 60 that means your pop-up will appear 60 seconds after your visitor has landed on your site for this demonstration i will just change this value to 5 seconds and click on save changes now let's head over to our website and refresh this page now wait for 5 seconds and he, as you can see here we have the newsletter pop-up your readers can easily fill in their details and subscribe to your mailing list this is how you can easily implement newsletter pop-up on your wordpress site now i'll just skip this part now i'll show you how you can also add the newsletter in the sidebar and the footer area to add the newsletter widget just go to appearance widgets and scroll down till you see blossom themes email newsletter widget then you can select the location where you want to add the widget in my case i want to add in the sidebar so just click on add widget and here you can give the title of the widget and here you will see the list of newsletter that you have created so you can just select this option and if you want to enable gdpr option then you can enable the gdpr now you can also upload a newsletter icon if you want to i'll just skip this part and click on save changes now let's have a look at our website as you can see here we have the newsletter in the sidebar as well please note that if you are using gdpr message and if you have multiple newsletter i suggest you use different newsletter if you are displaying the gdpr it is because the checkbox has a unique id and you cannot select two ids at the same time as you can see here it is unclickable so if you are displaying the gdpr message i suggest you create different newsletter for the sidebar in the footer area or any other areas now i'll show you how to add the email newsletter in the footer area as well the process is similar just like adding it to the sidebar go to blossom themes email newsletter select the footer where you want to display the newsletter 
in this case i will want to display in footer one click on add widget and again you can configure which newsletter you want to display and enable the gdpr in this case i will skip this part and just click on save now when i refresh my website and check my footer area and as you can see here i have the newsletter in my footer area as well this is how you can add the newsletter in your footer of your website that's all about blossom themes email newsletter this is how you can easily add subscription form on your website and start growing your subscription list i hope this video was helpful if you find this video helpful please like the video and hit the subscribe button so you never miss any of my new videos if you have any question or feedback or if you just want to say hi to let me know in the comments below